Hey guys, it's Di, and this is going to be the first ever exclusive Target haul that I've done. I usually do a stock up once a month at the beginning of the month and then just fill in items throughout the month. A lot of times it may even be kind of rolled in with our grocery haul, if you guys have seen our grocery hauls before. I've never really done just like our beginning of the month stock up, so I thought it'd be kind of fun and interesting just to try it once and see if it was interesting for you guys or see if it was, you know, anything interesting at all. Today I just got things for household and I got things for baby. We divide things into different categories to put them into our budget and I actually check out into two separate categories as well. So I um, got a little bit of food and snacks but I just counted that as baby because it's basically their snacks for snack time. And so basically it was all for those two categories. And total, I don't generally say what I spend, but I'll say just to give you an idea, we're a family of four, two toddlers, a almost three year old and a one and a half year old. And um, just for keeping up the household and everything, it was around $200 at the beginning of the month and the baby, I only spent 75. I didn't get any diapers, didn't get any wipes. It was all totally like, fill in stuff and then just let them like miscellaneous things like um, some shorts to match outfits and stuff like that. So I will show you everything I got at Target and I will say that for almost $300 worth of stuff it's a very teeny tiny pile so just be prepared. <laughs> So this is everything for the beginning of the month stock up and I will just go ahead and start over here at the left and go through the bags and normally you know I'm putting everything away right whenever we get in and tonight we just happened to eat dinner first and then I unloaded the car so that's why I happen to just have everything still in the bag so I thought you know what I'll do a quick haul and just see if people like it or not. So I did have to open the napkins right when we first came in because I literally was like running out of some of the things. So um, the napkins I went ahead and opened so I could use some at dinner. And then there's a lot of like toiletry items. This is the uh, mouthwash up and up brand that my husband uses. This is also his shampoo. It's like pretty much, I don't know, the only guy's shampoo. Do, any, do guys use anything else other than this? I don't know. <laughs> and then this is mine. I'm very excited about this. If you guys watch um, my empties videos they were out of all the shampoos they were sold out of them for whatever reason but I was just excited to get the conditioner of this um, I go through the organics Moroccan argan oil conditioner about twice as fast as the uh, shampoos and this was a 50% more free so double the size it usually is conditioner I honestly may get another one of these that is such a good deal and it was the regular retail price that normally the much smaller like if you guys buy these it's like this big so I was so excited when I saw this in fact I think I definitely need to get another one of these um, and hopefully if I go to a different target later in the week or later in the month they'll have the shampoo also um, but I really love this shampoo and conditioner by Organics. It's one of my favorites. Then over here, I got the Maybelline Falsies Mascara. I'm going through all my mascaras and tossing a bunch of them um, this month, which you'll also probably see in my empties video. So that's why I'm getting some mascaras. I got these Almay uh, makeup eraser sticks to use around your eyes. I'm having like eye issues this month, so some of the things are to kind of combat that. Then my husband uses these little Purell things just around the house and at his desk at work. So we got two of those for him to restock. Uh, he also uses these uh, lactose intolerance pills. You just basically take it before you're going to eat dairy if you're lactose intolerant. It allows you to eat it, I guess. I use these cosmetic wedges to put on my moisturizer and things like that. Up and Up brand. A lot of the things that we use are Up and Up brand. You'll probably see. This is the uh, moisturizing body wash. It's kind of like the Dove stuff, I guess, from Up and Up. This is what my husband uses in the shower. And then also we're having like allergy issues. So there's nasal decongestant and allergy relief stuff. This is basically like Target Claritin, I guess. Um, my eye issues, I'm going to do a video after I go to the endocrinologist, but my eyes are just basically like really dry. My contacts have been bothering me. So this is something I've never actually tried before, but my mom um, recommended it. She also used to be a contact wearer and has drier eyes. So these are like refresh drops. So I'm hoping those will help. And then I also got one of these. I usually buy just the single packs of the cotton rounds and they had this value pack. It was a really good deal, like $5 for three of them. They're normally like $2 a piece. So I'll use those for my toners. We have um, up and up tissue. We're going through it a little bit quicker than usual. And then um, yes, two cucumber soothing facial wipes. 
I use one of those every single month. And then I also got the OptiFree Replenish, just a double pack. This will last me longer than a month. Then down here I have the Soothing Shave Gel with Soy. I bought two of those. I don't know if they'll be in the same bag. But anyhow, I got two of those because I usually go through a couple of those a month. Um, this is the face wash of Men Care that my husband uses. I had to get one of these Cascade dishwasher detergent things. Oh, and here's the other shave gel. Went up and up. Oh, what else is down here? Oh, packing tape. I'm going to be mailing some packages. So I got some packing tape for those. And then I also got some cat food. This is the food that our cats eat. It's Imes, uh, mature adult. Both of our cats are about 10 years old. So that's the food that they eat. And then just Mother's Day and mailing a birthday gift. I got two Mother's Day cards and a birthday card, which I won't show you those in case <laughs> some of those people may be watching, but I got those. And then also some things to mail different things in. Our windows are open, by the way. So it's at nighttime and our windows are open. So, or it's not nighttime, it's evening. So that's why it sounds a little bit different than usual. And then this is a box. I think hopefully one of the Mother's Day gifts should hopefully fit in that. So that's my plan anyway. And then I had to restock on toilet tissue. We just use Up and Up brand for toilet tissue. And then also the make a size paper towels. I use those in my kitchen and upstairs for cleaning. So I just restocked both of those. A 24 pack of the toilet tissue and an 8 pack of the um, paper towel rolls. This was an abnormal purchase. I got this rug. It's for our kitchen area by like our back sliding glass door to go um, that goes back to our deck area where like the kids play things are and everything. So I got this to go back there in that area to contain shoes and things like that when we're coming inside just to kind of hopefully contain some of the mess. I think everything that's left in these three bags is baby. So all that first stuff was household. So over here in baby, we have Cinderella snacks, which Isabella opened on the way home. I opened for her. And then I got them some of these mini sandwich crackers, peanut butter. We got some of the Archer Farms blueberry pomegranate the little fruit snack things. Those are really good. We also restocked on the Annie's Cheddar Bunnies. Both the girls like those. We also got some of the Kashi Banana Chocolate Chip Bars. And then I also had to get one of the um, Diaper Genie refills. It has two things in there. Probably get another one of those this month, but I just got one to start out. And then I also got some Gerber graduates. I got two of the yogurt melts, one in strawberry and one in mixed berries. Natalie eats these. And then one Little Crunchies, the veggie dip, and one Little Crunchies, garden tomato. Natalie still eats these occasionally. She doesn't really eat them as much as she did, but I'm probably going to be buying them for another month or two, I think. I got little packets of travel wipes. These are what I put in like the little grab-and-go pouches that we have. I got two of those. And then I also got two diaper rash ointments to have on hand. Some of this is just back stock. And then also, this is like the vitamin A and D skin protectant. It's um, not a cream. It's kind of just a, a lighter diaper cream. If you're a parent, you'll probably understand. This is like the Aquaphor Healing stuff. It's um, a more heavy duty cream. And then I also got the kids some spray on sunscreen to try this year. I thought that that would be good since they're on the move a lot. And then this is the last kid's bag and it just has two pairs of shorts in the same color. I got these to go with some different shirts that they have that are brighter colors. I got Natalie 12 months because these look really big for her. And then I got Isabella a 3T. So hopefully both of those should fit. And then the last thing, we went past the rack and Isabella said, Mommy, Mommy, can I have that? I want that, please. So she saw this and she loved it. She said, I want the smile shirt. So we saw this. It's just a cute little um, kind of aqua turquoise color shirt and it says smile on it. And Bella loved this. It's just got glittery print on it. So I, you know, I was just excited that she actually picked out something. So I got that for her also. It's Circo brand. All those are. So that is pretty much it. This is our haul for the beginning of the month at Target. 
So thumbs up or leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you guys like this type of video. I don't really know. People seem to really love the grocery haul videos. I know that I really like watching hauls of like abnormal things like Sephora runs and things like that. Um, but I've never actually like really paid attention whether people like like Target runs and stuff like that. So I figured I would do our beginning of the month Target stock up for our family of four and show you what kind of our stock up in the beginning of the month looks like. And of course I go in through the, in the middle of the month and fill in on items and pick up things as we need them and that sort of thing. But especially when I can get one of those what we call buses that has the cart with the two seats attached to the front which is what I was able to get today. Whenever I'm able to park next to one of those and then put the girls directly into it to roll it into the store. I tried to get like the bulk of our items to put in the cart and then definitely bigger items like paper towel rolls and toilet tissue. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.